Muskogee Creek Nation business subsidiary One Fire Holding Company has evicted Golf Suites Tulsa LLC from the Jinx River Walk Crossing. According to MCN District Court documents, Golf Suites Tulsa was sent a notice of default on its lease agreement on August 31, 2023. The notice listed failure to pay rent, failure to pay a proportionate share of the common area operating expenses, and failure to provide a detailed monthly statement as reasons for the default. On September 26, 2023, One Fire notified Golf Suites that its lease had been terminated and ordered the business to vacate the premises within 30 days. On November 22, 2023, One Fire filed a civil suit in MCN District Court seeking eviction and monetary damages based on Golf Suites' failure to pay rent and failure to vacate the premises. In a statement from One Fire Holding, the company claimed that Golf Suites' breach of contract left them no other option than to evict. The statement reads, quote, Golf Suites has operated at Riverwalk Crossing since 2019. Beginning in December 2022, One Fire made efforts to work with Golf Suites to maintain their tenancy, but ultimately their inability to fulfill their lease obligations left One Fire with no option but to pursue eviction. In November 2023, due to Golf Suites' noncompliance with the lease terms, one Fire was compelled to file a lawsuit in the nation's district court seeking to recover possession of the leased property and fulfillment of outstanding financial obligations. We value the relationships we have with our tenants at Riverwalk Crossing, and the economic contributions they bring to the local community are significant. However, One Fire also has a responsibility to the nation and its citizens to uphold sound business practices and principles in our management of Riverwalk Crossing, end quote. According to Judge Danette Mauser's eviction order issued on April 23, 2024, Golf Suites admitted that it had failed to pay rent. Golf Suites alleged that it had justifications for not paying the full rent, but the court did not find any of those reasons to be legally sufficient to overcome the obligations of the lease. In addition to evicting golf suites from the Jinx River Walk Crossing, the order also decrees that monetary damage amounts will be determined at a hearing. The date for that hearing has not yet been set. Muskogee Media will continue to provide coverage on this developing story.